right, and we're back, folks. This is Obi Jeff playing Path of Exile. I am currently running through Act 3. I'm doing Victorio's Secrets. Hargan wants me to find three platinum busts scattered throughout the slum sewers, the warehouse sewers, and the market sewers. So, I am currently in the slums. I am looking for the sewer pipe entrance. And I've already ran through some of this. The sewer slums. And we're going to clean this up. Ooh, what is that? Blinded. You were significantly less accurate. I would say that being blinded would significantly lower my accuracy. What the hell is Violet Stormblood? No idea what that was, but it looks like it blows up when it dies. Oh, you bastard. Oh, what is that? Let me see. 29 is 60. 18 chance to block. 26 increased physical damage. 20% fire resistance. And 46 to accuracy rating. Uh, that does significantly more. However, I mainly do. So look, I might be able to swing that. That might be worth it. I'll check that when I get back. I need to double check my spell gems. Again, a lot of work to swap out equipment in this game. Now we're going to do a strong box. We're going to do this shit. And I got my quest piece that I needed, so that... Two platinum bows. Sweet. That's all I need. Oh. Extra fire damage, life G extra fire damage, life regen, and accurate. And also dead. Oh man. She didn't like that one. Oh <laughs> look at all the gems. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got. So sweep is a uh, attack AoE melee. Swings two-handed melee weapon in a circle, knocking back some of the monsters. Sweet. Static strike is a attack melee AoE duration lightning. Strike your enemies. Uh, strike your enemies with a melee weapon, building up static energy on you. This energy damages enemies all around you. 6% physical damage bonus. Duration deals 110 base attack damage and explosion. This is trigger attack melee. Frost blades. This is a green gem. Molten Shell. So right now I'm using Molten Strike. I wonder if this is similar. Summons a fiery elemental shield providing additional armor for a short duration. Uh, if cumulative physical damage prevented by your blocking or armor reaches the threshold, the shield explodes outwards dealing fire damage to surrounding enemies. Deals 14 to 20 fire damage. Wow. Alright, that might be cool. We'll smoke mine. Places a mine that will teleport you to it when detonated. It covers both your escape and arrival of a cloud smoke. Blinds enemies. It gives you temporary buff of movement speed. It's awesome, but I wonder how it detonates. Place a remote mine which uses this skill when detonated. Elemental hit. Oh, I got all these. I'll, I'll look at a lot of these later, but this is awesome. Throws a 
spectral copy of your melee weapon fi flies out and returns to you, spinning attack that strikes enemies in its path. I already have the dual strike. Awesome. Look at that. All green and red. No blue. That's very interesting. And I wonder if these individual gems really mean something specific. I'd be curious to look into that. That's good stuff. I guess I don't need to go any further. These are pretty short. I'll go ahead and clear this out. There's something in there. As I mow the lawn. What is this thing? Spine snap. Kicking my ass. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Four slots superior visored sale. I got no room. We got to go back, Kate. We got to go back. Gold star to anyone who can guess what show that is from. Giant mana flask. I wonder, do I have one of those? Grand. Three forty over four seconds. Obviously, better than that one. One sixty over five seconds. So let's. Set the let's set that straight. And I do need to level up. Whoa, that was cool. What the hell is that? That was awesome. All right, let's jump back into this mess. Um, I am well on my way to nowhere. And we're going to grab Lighted Divinity. So I was talking with the uh, the Obi wife earlier, and we found out I found out that she works with a dude that uh, does his bet. We were um, we had a a pet death tonight. We had a gerbil pass away, and got me thinking about 2016 so far. And we have um, quite a few deaths, famous famous people who died, and. Um, uh, a few people um, that I know had family members pass within the last two days. And uh, we were kind of talking about all the deaths happening in 2016. And um, she was telling me about a guy she worked with. And the guy actually has this running pool going. And I think it's called the, um, the ghoul pool is what they call it. And what that, what that is, uh, apparently they place bets on famous people that are going to die which is terrible in its own right um, 
and basically you're going to get points if somebody dies and then you get more points the younger the person is so it's a higher risk to be uh, lucrative I believe there are um, bets placed or I don't know if there's bets or if there's money involved or whatever the case is but um, I think um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name who played the Joker whenever he passed apparently somebody had him picked and um uh, like basically dominated the whole game. I don't know if it's it's done like a, a fantasy point league where you get points throughout the year every month. I don't know how that goes, but um, very interesting concept, very interesting game. I'm kind of curious if anybody else out there has ever heard of that. If you have, go ahead and leave comments below. Really curious to, to see if this is really a thing or if this is something somebody thought up. Just thought it was fairly morbid. Um, kind of interesting all in, all in the same. I, I can't say that I wouldn't play. Uh, as terrible as that, that may be. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about this map here. And I went down in the sewers and I have a blockage here, but I'm assuming there's a way to get to this district outside of the sewer, but I guess I have to go back in the sewers. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Take a shortcut. As soon as it loads here. Yeah. Um, so I, I jumped in. I've only made one character. I'm playing a Templar. Uh, I was pretty shocked when I looked at the, the ability or the, the stats the skill tree, I guess that's what you want to call it, the giant map. I uh, was kind of blown away at that point, and then I continued playing and, and discovered that all the abilities came from gems, and it was such a cool, uh, cool new take on this type of game. I'm really digging it so far. Uh, it looks like my game's freezing up a bit here. There we go. When I passed it up. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so I'm in here. I was right next to the blockage, but I guess there's another route through here, so I'm going to go explore the sewers a bit more. And it reset my map. Oh, really? There you go, good. The fresh vermin roaming about out there on the trail. I have a certain pack of vermin in mine. A truly twisted and ravenous lot. The ray, they range across quite a large territory, so be prepared to cover some ground. Hunt them down wherever they might be and put an end to them. For this hunt, I'm going to share a piece of bushcraft with you. Well, bushcraft smeared with thermogy. Thermaturgy? The corrupt creatures tend to mark their territory with their foulness. The trick allows them to pick up the scent. The whole thing stinks of corruption, I know, but you can't expect to put their nose to the ground without getting it dirty. Alright. Uh, so I need to hunt down infected beasts and track down the infected beast using the scattered pools of blood. Fantastic. My favorite thing to do. Yeah, so I haven't looked into any of the builds yet, and it seems fairly overwhelming to um, to really dive into that. Let me figure out how do I get into the skill tree. Um, so I've, I've started going this direction. I really don't know where I'm headed. I think that's my biggest challenge with the tree. Um, I just collected quite a few things along the way that I've been using. I try to find things that I that I find useful. Um, and the advice that I've, I've received so far, which is the first time that you play through, just just grab whatever. It doesn't matter. And I think at some point um, I can redo all of this. I don't know if I have to roll a new character or if I um, 
can wipe it and just rebuild going forward. But yeah, finding out um, the different builds and understanding what these different abilities do, I think will help me out in the long run. Right now, I don't know what I want, so I think that's the hard part when I when I'm selecting skills. I'm just what's the what's the best thing for right now. Okay, so let's continue to look for the exit to the sewer. All right, so start with damage, then go to health resist. All right, Ooh, dead end. Yeah, right now I've not had many problems at all. I don't think I've. I think when I was level one or two when I first started playing it was the only time I died. I really haven't died yet, so I don't. I'm not. I have not had many problems at all. I'm anticipating it getting harder as we as I move f further into the game. But as of right now, it's not really been a challenge. I attribute a lot to to my uh, molten molten strike here. It uh, works wonders on groups, which is the bulk of what I'm fighting most of the times. There we go. Oh, no, I already got that one. Yeah, I, I went down the spell damage path, and that's really where I'm, I'm kind of grabbing right now. I've, at first, I assumed that it was always going to be uh, weapon damage. And I think I was really wrong on that, so I, I grabbed a few poor choices along the way. I do use a few different um, weapon damage skills, but the, but mainly spells at this point. Where am I? Going? How long have you been playing the game? Where's my corner map? What corner map? There's a corner map? That would make things so much easier. UI. There's a clock. I don't care about the clock. I don't know where this map is. Did I miss it? Wait, I just saw something. Always oh, show sides. Oh, center map. Show corner map. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh. I hate playing with this stupid map over the whole screen. All right, well, that's convenient. Very convenient. So how long have you been playing uh, Path of Exile? It's got a lot of armor. I might want to look at that. Hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah, the only other game that I know other than Diablo. There we go. There's my way up. Is uh, I think Torchlight. What other games like this are there out there? I forgot out the corner map. That is going to take a while to get used to.
Pick it up. Oh, come on. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen a few people play the Darkest Dungeon. I forget what that's pretty new. There we go. Let's see. I don't. What am I working towards here? I think the Gremlin Queen is where I need to go n next. Then do sever the right hand. I think that makes sense. So out of all the games that you've played, which is which is your uh, what preference? They all seem fairly similar. This one seems to provide a lot of options, but I have not played all the rest of those games. have not played the rest of those to really make a good educated comparison. Oh really? Good to know. Yeah, I remember playing the crap out of Diablo 2 and the uh, Pickle, uh, part, one of the other Burke crew members, uh, and some other friends. We would continuously do Mephisto runs and just do loot runs, and it, it just got a little, little old after a while. And three was decent the first few times you played through, but then it got fairly repetitive. The Jim Gentiler, the, the blood, the Monkey King fleas. So we keep talking about the Monkey King. What is, who is this Monkey King? And why do I keep pulling up the map now that I have a corner map? Fear Ripper. Two ornate sword. I don't need that. Not your small. Nice. I can use the level ups. Yeah, the... I have to agree with you on the build diversity. I actually have a few items that I think I can upgrade. But due to the due to the spell gem slots, it, I don't want to do it. I don't want to sacrifice the skills and abilities that I have. Um, the ones that I like, at least. Uh, so it's always a a struggle on is this worth me reworking my skills and abilities for but at the same time it adds such a layer of character development that no other game has really provided it seems like you can get whatever ability that you want and depending on your build and your class really kind of sets you on a tra trajectory and you can you can have a lot of overlap and you can specialize you can do whatever the hell you want but it makes for some tough decision making part of my my downtime when I'm I try to try to stream and, and record every time I I play just to, to 
kind of share the experience with others, but um, it's not very exciting sitting there for 20 minutes looking at all the gems and your skills and trying to figure out which abilities you want to swap out with the equipment. It, it's not exciting for, for those to watch, but oh crap, what the hell is that? I almost died. That's impressive. I actually got a fight on my hands for the first time in probably two acts. Oh, he's he's regenning. Yeah, I I was wondering if you could ever get to the point of just clearing out the skill abilities just to rebuild, especially for me as making my first character, being able to reset and not lose my progress would be amazing. Oh, where do I need to go? Gremlin Queen is in. It doesn't tell me. I got gotcha. you. Isn't there supposed to be a new update coming out? Um, or maybe it did just come out. I know it's coming out soon, if anything. Um, I think it's almost an expansion coming out, and I wonder if they're gonna what they're planning on updating. I haven't looked into that. I'm not very far in the in the in the game as it is to know what's really changing, so I, I haven't really paid attention. Come on. Yeah, the strange part about this Molten Strike too, I can't shoot on the other side of this wall. I guess it's um, supposed to keep me from clearing out rooms without being in the room. Yeah, I thought I read somewhere on Steam that they were coming out with one. I could be completely wrong. I've not gotten involved in any of the leagues or the PvP yet either. I figured I'd get dominated. It's not worth the uh, time or effort to jump into that. However, I'd, I would love to play multiplayer. These games tend to be a little more fun when you have um, you have two or three three people running through and uh, collecting gear for, for everybody. It's usually a good time. Alright, I think I'm making progress here. Oh, I'm almost leveled up anyway. We should be good. Um, I have no idea. 
I'm assuming standard. But I don't know the difference uh, between standard and talisman. All right, so where did I last leave off here? Increase spell damage. What is what? I think I was originally heading this way. Or this way. I think this was it. choices. Yeah, this is the part that I just got to jump into. Elemental damage. I think I'm going to go with the cast speed. Well, it's not increasing my damage. My output does increase. And I'm okay with that. Go to Celestial Judgment. I don't know what that is. Is a dude. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, the Celestial Judgment. Oh, there we go. Oh, the skill. Um, how do we get back in the skills? Hold on. There we go. Astral Bond, Celestial Judgment. All right, so we have 18 increased elemental damage. Penetrates 2% fire resistance, 2% cold resistance, and 2% lightning resistance. And we have Celestial Punishment, 25%. Increased damage against frozen shock or ignited enemies with a 5% chance to freeze shock or ignite. So this like it goes down the elemental path for the elemental increase. So is a recommendation to head that that way? Someday, I'm going to find this next area. Okay. Yeah, so far right now, I have used not many other things than the Firestorm and the Molten Strike, wherever that is. Oh, I'm sorry, Magma Orb. Ooh. I'm full. Damn it. It's not a whole lot of effort that I have to put out with the firestorm. And 
one of these earlier tonight. I got all gems dumping out of these things. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's get rid of... That. Oh, damn it. I can fix that. I can fix that. I had Legos when I was a kid. I know how to do this. Let's go make a home for this stuff. Yeah, where's that fire totem? I thought I saw that on there. So, that was... Totem damage. But where do I get the actual totem? I don't see where I get a totem. Ah, uh, it's a skill gem. It is a skill gem. Well, let's take a look in the stash. Do you know what color gem it is? Cause these are my. This is my collection here. That's all I got. Teleport to Act One. All right. Let me see if I have it. Glacier hammer, fire endurance, sweep, static strike, molten shell. Yeah, I don't think I have it. Let me make some room real quick. That's crap. All right, it's a red gem. All right, I'll look for that. Let's see here. This is possibly better than mine. However, my gems would be severely impacted. Twelve strength. That's not worth it. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. Should have just sold that. Oh well. Let's dump these. I thought there was one more I needed to sell. Nope. I need that one. All right, teleporting into Act Act One. We're at in Act One. Oh no! I'm just following directions. See what you're saying. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Damn it. I'll just run to the vendor. So it's at one of the vendors on Act One. And it's a red gem. Sweep, static, rallying cry. I have not even looked at buying anything. Knockback, stun, melee splash, spell totem. Skill, 
And I'm supposed to be getting the, what is it called, a fire totem? Flame totem. I'm assuming that's the right one. Devouring totem. Alright, flame totem, I'll snag that. Bada boom. What else you got here? Let's see ground slam, molten strike, infernal bow, glacier hammer, elemental hit. Alright, let's let's find a spot for that too. Am I using cleave? I am not using cleave. Let's get rid of that. Let's throw my flame totem on. Now is this an ability that I use? get to a place where I can use it. I don't think my spell portal is going to be open now. Oh, it is. Nice! Alright, let's re-engineer this really quick. Um... What is that ability? Oh, no, let's swap that. That should be that. And then I will make this the flame totem. I can make more than one. Sweet. Or I can make Oh, holy shit. Oh, that is awesome. Let's set this bad boy up in a doorway. I seem to be heavily reliant on fire. Is that going to hinder me later when there are some uh, some resistances in play? Sweet. Ruby flasks. What the hell is that? Oh, nice. Good. All right, I've already been up here. All right. That's good to know. I don't have to rebuild. Yes, you'll do. Now listen carefully for I disdain repetition. There are those who live for greater things in rare class, and there are those who just live. One of the, one of the latter is out there right now, gasping our future. Kill the selfish malcontent and do it with all possible speed. Though they have deeply disappointed me, I still rather like this particular villain. Make it quick and relatively painless. Sure. Whatever you say, dude. Alright, that's in the next area, so I should be good to go. Alright, moving on. I feel like I'm making progress tonight. Alright, there. 
this is what area is this now this is called the marketplace all the money in the world can't stop a world from ending true statement And have the optional quest of Victorio's Secrets. That is central time where I'm at. So right now it is 11.52 p.m. Junk, 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 junk. Ooh, what are these things? Grasshoppers? Monster grasshoppers. Fantastic. Those are like those cave... Cave grasshoppers. Or... Crickets. None shall stop you. Whoa, 5.52 a.m. All right, that puts you uh, pretty far away. Where Whereabouts do you live? Country-wise. All right, well, uh, thanks for either staying up or getting up early in the a.m. and watching. I feel like that's a trap. Well, hello all the way to England. Quest within quest. No spirit deserves to be abandoned no matter how far from the way has wandered from this warrior. Lead him back. I'm gonna die. How do I get out of this? cave, enter the haunted area, find the spirit before time runs out. I'm on a timer. <laughs> Up all night. Alright, well, I appreciate you stopping by and helping me out. Um, first time playing through, there's, like I said, it was pretty, pretty standard fare to start, but once I got into the skills and the abilities, it really turned into a different game than, than most of the other games I've played. Mainly Diablo. Martyr's Touch. Oh, shit. Alright, I got a minute. We need to move. We need to move! Camel bears, humps on their back. All right, now I'm starting to take damage in this hack. This is uh, a little tougher than the some of the prior areas. What the hell is this thing doing? Didn't I find the spirit? There we go. 
All right, let's see y'all. Let me grab some good stuff. I picked up a flask. I don't know if it was movement speed. This is resistance. Yes, I would agree. I would love to be able to move faster. It's one of my uh, biggest complaints so far. Is it takes forever to get anywhere. As your honor, these are the ancestors, your honor and yourself to come, came to this land seeking to plant the seed of the Kari way in fresh fertile soils his kingdom withered and died many years ago perhaps it's time that a new kingdom was sown in its stead meet me in town warrior we have new horizons to discuss I only got that much reputation with this guy that's terrible alright let's um let's rock and roll on this quest a bit I came from this way I gotta keep going yeah, is this something I can ba uh, buy from a vendor? I've, I've honestly not checked vendors. At all. And nothing over here. Gotta go back. No, it's all good. I will, uh, I'll get one eventually. Now that I know that it even exists, I didn't know it existed. So I'll keep my eyes out for it and, and try to get that. Here's that stash. Sweet. Just keep me going. Well, how the hell do I get over there? It really looks like there's stairs right there on the map. Hmm. Those are stairs. Hmm. All right, let's just jump back to town. Instead of fighting through this. And somebody wants to talk to me. There we go. The people's poet could hide his spoils from Chitus, but not from us, eh? I knew you as the exile for the job. I'm sure you've been more than compensated already from Victorio's stockpiles, but here's a little extra care. Something I didn't read at all because I was goofing around. Uh, grants a passive skill point and two passive respect points. Nice. Sell that. I'm going to take a look at that. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Come back. I'm not going to use that. Oh. 
two red, but I have two blue in here. Which one is this? Increased critical strikes and firestorm. I can't give up firestorm. That's my shit. That's my shit. I will... Man, this is a lot of physical damage. But I'm not using much physical damage, so it's not worth it. Oops. That's not the stash, that's the stash. Alright, so... There we go. I have all kinds of stuff that I saved that I probably don't need. All right, so I need to get to what areas here? I still need to get back there, so I guess the marketplace makes sense, but there has to be something else in here. I've got that feeling. There we go. I found it. To the marketplace. Oh man. I reset my map. Hey, what's up, Bob? How you doing? Welcome to Path of Exile. Getting my hack and slash loot fix. Uh, I play in Texas. It is the closest to me. I'm in uh, I'm in Missouri. What is this? I don't think I need to go there. But it looks cool. Yeah, Bob, it's, um, I'm assuming you've seen Diablo or something like it. It's very similar, but the skill system and the character development is fantastic. I'm going to show you something really quick here. So, um, I, as a class, you, you pick a class when you start off. As a class, you don't get any abilities. You, you essentially get a starting spot on this giant wheel of abilities and all of these are just stat increases none of it is an ability so as you go through the world you collect gems and you put the gems in the spell spells in the gems slots and then you get spells there we go it came out um, and I can adjust these spells as I see fit so it's pretty cool so you can um, pick up you can pick up gems that any other class you can use but depending on your class you have a different different tree that you start out on so you the way you use those abilities are very different yeah it's hugely it's it's a very intricate system it's hugely confusing when you first start And 
And so, so far I've got this Firestorm ability, which I love. You just hold down the button and it just rains fire. Um, and then um, uh, in-game name is Daggered underscore Keldrath. Um, I also have this uh, totem ability that I um, just picked up, and it does massive amounts of damage as soon as I find something to kill. Oh, I got a skill point anyway, so let's go ahead and pick the next point. Um, so I just picked up, I'm going to focus on, on damage from, a, from an elemental standpoint, so I think where I want to head is this way, because I have these totem this total mobility. So I think I'm going to go with the 10 intelligence. So as I go through, I can see I can get 18% increased power charge duration, one, one maximum power charge. You can move through these. Well, that's the top half. The bottom half um, is the, the armor energy abilities. So it's really intricate, really confusing. And there's my waypoint. I've been waiting for that. Um, where, where am I supposed to go? Just tell me where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I don't mind any help whatsoever because, uh, you know, this game is just all about hack and slash and loot and having fun. Topaz ring. back to town real quick. I still have no pants. I love it. I love it. It's the most awkward looking dude ever. Awesome. So the Avengers Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline. Recharges three charges when you take critical strike. Twenty percent, twenty-seven percent increased movement speed. Nice. Mouse over each item to enable accept. Interesting. Sweet. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on the slots here so large life for mana you know what I think I want to swap this out wait this way no Er, there we go no I really appreciate that that was huge help and movement um, movements can help out uh, the monetization model is um, I believe um, I've not bought anything but um, I don't think it's items K 
chaos items. Okay. Uh, let me throw these all in my bank real quick. So, um, the button I need to do for the microtransactions. So, microtransactions. Let's go to most popular. Uh, gore footprints effects, carnival fireworks, stash tab, so you can get extra stash in my uh, in my chest here. All okay, it's all cosmetic. Interesting. That's good. It's not a pay to win. Yeah, Bob, there's been a lot of good reviews on this, which is why I wanted to check it out. And um, all the feedback that I've heard has been very positive about the game. Uh, where was I? There we go. All right, let's check this out. Oh, sweet. Must get out of the marketplace. Oh, there it is. Standard League. Normal. Yeah, Juju Crew, do you... I probably butchered that name. Um, what... What, um... I completely forgot the, the question I was going to ask you. It was about the microtransactions. Um, yeah, what a... What a... Is this game based off of... Since it's a free game, it seems like the microtransactions wouldn't draw in that many... Um, that many players. Is it mainly the, the stash the stash pages and everything else that you would get? Or is it the cosmetic things that people are usually buying? Why can I not find my way out of here? Oh, crap. I'm not reading that. You guys can listen to that. Enjoy. Yeah, Dark Souls is a good game. I can't knock that. I'm terrible at it, but it's a good game. I'm stuck on the first one, and I'm stuck on um, the two gargoyles on the on the roof. It's been forever since I played it. I just couldn't get past those two. I've defeated the first one. Nothing good. Give me something good. God. Your mom goes to college. Yeah, and Bob also... The, um the gems that you pick up for your skills level up as well they have their own experience bars so if you pick up a if you're high level and you pick up a new level one gem it's not going to be that that great you have to keep using it to level it up so you when you pick up your original gems you kind of start on a tra trajectory not that you can't level up another gem but uh, really kind of dictates how you're going to play your character pretty early on I'm sure it can change. It doesn't take a whole lot to level up gems.
but they tend to level up right along with my character. This is a freaking big area. How do I get down there? Oh, I got gotcha. you. So the the players kind of made their own market, which is to be expected in a game like this. I know Diablo tried to get in on the cash market, but I don't think that worked out so well for them. I still don't know where to go. I can't go that way. No cash deals in this game. That's good. Keeps things fair. Well, this is the downside of streaming games like this when you get lost and don't know where to go. stairs over here. How do I get down there? There we go. Absolutely useless. <laughs> yep, caps button's there. Sometimes it moves and jumps under your finger. Um, all right, so this is a giant map. That I'm completely lost on. Where do I need to go? Do I have to travel through the catacombs? I'm gonna, I think I do. It has to be it. Just talking about monkey men again. There's nothing eternal in this empire of ours but the names of our day that shall be revered or reviled in the centuries to come whatever ancient graffiti nobody writes graffiti like that it needs to be big bubble letters with different colors and on the side of a train that's graffiti
Oops. Nullifier. I don't know what that is. Cast frog by enemies are slowed, resist lightning. Nice. Yeah, this is very Diablo esque, Bob, with the uh with the way the equipment works. I don't need to come to the catacombs, really. Oh, son of a Alright. Well they got me a yellow. You're right. I don't need to go there. I'm in the right spot. Oh, there it is. Something's over here. I missed it. I'm a terrible person for missing it. And we're in the battlefront. <laughs> yes. Boom, boom, boom. The black guard shall fall to my flame strike. Ooh, what is this? Uh, thanks for letting me uh, wander aimlessly. That'll uh, provide me hours of entertainment of trying to edit this video down to a normal size. Hey, I found my waypoint. It's blocked by wooden shield. Alrighty. Ooh, mages. Mm hmm. You shall fall. One thing I noticed about this game compared to some of the others, Diablo, um, the chests really don't drop anything good. It seems like anything good is coming from from a from a creature. Can I get through here? Yeah, the other thing, Bob, uh, about this game, there's no gold currency. It's all done in um, barter. So when you're trading with other players or you're trading with an NPC, you're getting items. And typically you get these type of items where you have blacks blacksmiths, we stone, where you can improve the quality of a weapon, but you got to get a stack size of 20. So... Um, uh, it makes it so that items are useful and consumable and you're not getting this gold influx so a lot of people seem to be trading for for these items and apparently the uh, I guess chromatic orbs are high level trading items Oops. The wrong button. It'd be totally cool to see Dracula. The turning these bat dudes turning into Dracula. 
but the ribbons they're assault ribbons it's an interesting concept for an enemy chaos orbs okay I'm saving them all anyway I figured using the orbs on low level equipment that you're gonna uh, end up swapping out is not worth the time or effort if I find a mirror orb I'm a god you know, I probably have like four of them in my stash. I I just didn't know what they were. Throw them in there. That's my luck. I really like these statues coming to life. That's awesome. It reminds me of uh, what Conan movie was that? I think it was Conan the Dis was it the Conan the Destroyer where they had to go get the horn and put it in the statue and it came to life that's one of my favorite movies favorite movies there we go yeah you never know I might be the richest person I haven't looked I just dump stuff in my stash and I never look back Ooh, what are you what are do's Come here, ribbons. Let me tie you up. In my flame strike. You can tell when it's getting late because I start saying ridiculous things. There you go. Although I shouldn't complain. Somebody here's uh, stayed up till 6 a.m. in the morning, focused on Path of Exile. Keep forgetting about my corner map. So Bob, did you and Nems get some recording done uh, tonight? I know he's he's trying to uh, get ahead of the game here with him traveling. No way, new Conan. I don't know. I don't know if I like that idea of a new Conan. I mean, it's cool because I, I want it, but in the same token, it kind of had a, its heyday and. Why force it? Title it Conan the Geezer. That's good. It's a lot of EU4 action you guys have been trying to hammer out. It's impressive.
come on over here. Pick up the quartz. See, this is why I stream. Because I make stupid decisions without people pointing the quartz scepter. Pointing out my flaws. A one hand mace. Is this what I'm. It's a blue item called quartz scepter. Alright, I picked it up. I'm assuming you'll want me to identify it. Oops, whoops, whoops. Oh, I got you. I haven't used too many of these uh, one hand abilities here, and I'll have to rework my gems later. Good call. So, look, always keep my eye out for quartz. So much to remember. Oh, I just switch my my weapon. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that um, the game's not really based off. You can you can have an older weapon as long as it has the right gem slots. You can actually make it make it worthwhile. That is pretty awesome. What is this thing? Oh, there's a bunch of these things. Alright. This tormented cutthroat. I keep seeing these guys. They disappear. I'm assuming that they're supposed to be hard to catch and you get good stuff whenever you kill them. This is the first one I've ever killed. Stairs. And I leveled up apparently a while ago and I missed that one. Where are you at? What was that thing? Ah. All right, let's see. Um, I do not own E4, and it's more fun for me to watch you guys duke it out than me trying to figure that game out. Eventually, I may get it though, and try it out because it does look fun. In all honesty, and it is my style of game, but it looks overly complicated from just being a viewer and not knowing all the mechanics. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. All right, what is a power charge anyway? I don't want to go down this path picking power charges if I'm not going to use them.
I don't see. But I do, I guess I want to get the jewel socket unlocked as well. So maybe it makes more sense to come this way. pick up this jewel socket then I can loop back up why do you keep coming back Nice. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this uh, totem. Gotta love that freaking ability. towards I see your butt <laughs> um, marching towards I don't even know why I'm coming in here this is the gremlin queen okay say that um, these these levels are fairly large yeah absolutely man um, I appreciate you watching and appreciate all the help that you've provided it has been uh, been very very helpful uh, if you want to hop on um, if you want to hop on twitch ever and, and catch us playing uh, we we have three guys that actually play on this channel. We play all different sorts of games, so if you want to give us a follow, it uh, would be much appreciated. Uh, we're also on YouTube if you want to check us out under Burke Crew Studios. Juju Crew, I appreciate it. Thanks. Um, some more assault ribbons. I'm still baffled at how that character was was created. I'm just in my head imagining um, a bunch of dudes sitting in a room brainstorming creatures to have in a in a fairly ornate temple. And I just don't I just can't I just can't fathom somebody saying, What about what about floating flying ribbons that will assault the character and attack them? Why am I dying? 
Why the fuck am I dying? Hey, appreciate that follow. Very much. Oh! I am getting my ass handed to me. The assault ribbons are dangerous. What? What? Oh. That's the first time I've died since Act 1. Oh. That blows donkey balls. Damn it. how I feel about that. Don't you know? I can't see. I can't see. Where did I die? Did I die right here? I did die right here. It was one shot away. It's a lot of yellow. It's a whole lot of yellow. I like it. As far as um, the hack and slash dungeon diving loot grabbing games, this one's pretty decent. I've had quite a bit of fun playing it. Um, so uh, these are the spell gems that you get. And these are all different abilities. Uh, you just get tons of spell gems. And at any point, I can throw these, swap out these gems. I don't have to do anything special, and just get a new ability. So it's pretty dynamic, really fun uh, character building. It's not very exciting to do on a on a stream when I have other folks watching, because it's it's balancing the gem slot colors with the gems is the challenge. So even if you get an upgraded item, uh, if it doesn't have the right color spell gem slots, you're gonna lose an ability unless you start swapping out. Let's say my um, right here is my firestorm. If I wanted to, to swap out this weapon, I would have to find a blue somewhere else to put put that gem. And if it's on my glove, great, but then I take off this magma orb, which is another ability I actually use, so then I would lose that ability. So you have to kind of make some serious decisions when you're upgrading your equipment on if I swap this out, then I gotta swap other spell gems out and I'm gonna lose my abilities and it changes the, the, the playstyle of your character for just one item. And as big of a pain in the butt that is um, in the process of coming up with that it's uh, really fun to to have that level of, of detail and let's sell I don't know why I saved this junk don't need that um, I'm not going to need the cloth belt Blue and red. I may look at that. It's got four slots. I'm going to look at that too. I don't think I'll need that. 
There we go. All right. So 52 armor, which is over double my armor. 12 increased attack speed. 73 accuracy, nine armor, one mana gained on kill. Done deal. 12 strength. Um, there's more slots. I do lose the magma orb. And there's a whole lot on that one. But it's not all that great. No, 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 no. Come back. Actually, that's what I want to get rid of. Um, here we go. I will throw those in there and jump back in the dungeon. Because I gotta make it through this. Sweet. Always a good thing. Sounds so spooky. Hmm. Let's check out the room first. This reeks of a boss fight. I awoke feverish and barely conscious. I set to drawing these maps through the stable hour. By morning, my fingers ached, my eyes burned, yet I found no rest. The reverie commanded its rendering. The reverie device now stands completed. I have placed the first of my maps within its receptacle. I have taken my maiden voyage into nightmare. Now, no, that which sent me this precious gift. It knows me. Expect my return. It would be foolish to disappoint. Malachi. Yeah, come on. I don't want to read it again. I don't want to read it again. Really, you're not going to do anything. Really? That's all this is? Sounded terrible. Hey, you're not a cockroach. Strange, inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. I like, I like spines. I liked my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep? Not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, this very day I've found a new reason to cry. The ribbons are ordered. Clean and polish or protect. These cockroaches crawled in, swarmed through the cracks. The ribbons spoil is taken, stolen. The black ones want them. My ribbons swung to wrap the city in black ribbons. Find the spool, not a cockroach. Look at my doorstep where the ribbons crush cockroaches yet. Bring the spool and I will find gratitude for you. What? You're crazy. You need to be Lady Crazy. They misnamed you. Recover the ribbon spool in the battlefront. Oh, 
Whoosh, thank yous. It's a sad day when you threaten ribbons. These statues are awesome. I really like that. Must I go? cheat. I'm going to go back to the waypoint. You may go. There has to be something in here. There's nothing in here. Hmm. No fun. over here. No. Maybe it's not over here. I guess I have to do that ribbon quest to make it further. The 
this could take a while. Oh, it did respawn. Find the ribbon spool. I'm awesome. Oh, who the hell is left? stragglers there he is there he is take him out take him out take him out okay so at this point I don't know what I'm looking for I'm looking for a spool a ribbon spool so I've taken the joke of having ribbons for enemies a step further this looks important. That's where I went in. That's where I went in. Why the hell am I back here? Let's walk over here. That's awesome. Gagras the crazed is dying. All I want to do is get this quest over with so I can go to bed. It is that time of the night where I'm cracking up, folks. the docks. Die, rebel scum. There we go. I think I found the quest. Well, at least there's a marker on my map. And don't die. Blackguard chest, a ribbon spool. I found the ribbon spool. Fantastic. I need to get back. Stat. I get it. I get it. I know where I'm supposed to go. Is there no shortcuts? It's right there. It's right there. Dude, I'm mowing them, I'm mowing them down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lady Cr 
crazy. They are my ribbons forevermore, forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from bards' bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh, gratitude. Yes, I should give you a token. A token? What token? This is this to your liking? Or is this to your liking? Oh, jeez. Ooh. Take that off. I kind of like the idea of 18% increased rarity of items found. We'll snag that. The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. The cockroach empire emperor. The other bug shot his name. Gravicus. Cross the river. Squash the empire. Cockroaches in his nest. The bridge. Is it barricaded? That spawns a tricky question. Questions. Questions. I asked too many questions. Chitus told me so. I asked where it all went. Our feculents. He made them show me. Under the river. The sewers from this side to that. Filthy fetid tunnels. Like a Roa's Cloaca. A black place. Crawling with undying, once beautiful, arrogant gimlings. Now a foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? Ap, 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 blah, blah, blah. You're crazy. Come on. And now you're just talking to talk. What am I supposed to do now? Quest complete. Alright, so at this point, I've completed the quest. I'm going to return home, and I think I'm going to turn it in for the evening. It's been a long time. I've been uh, about two hours in, which is the longest I've ever gone uh, with one solid Path of Exile episode. I will be trimming this down on YouTube, so if you do want to catch this episode on YouTube, uh, hopefully a very abbreviated version of it with all the good stuff packed together. Uh, check us out at Burkrew Studios, search the Path of Exile videos and you'll find this video. Uh, we have a lot of other videos out there that are really cool. Um, Bob, who joined us tonight, has um, been playing multiplayer with Nems, who's another Burkrew member. And that's a really cool episode. If you want to check that out, please do. Uh, so go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, go ahead and hit the follow button so you know when we go live. This is OB Jeff signing off for the night.